restart. Oh, hi, Ellie. Recording. Okay, everybody. Tonight is advanced fundamentals. Admit. <laughs> God damn it. I am really bad at this. Pin. I think I got it. I'm not bad at this. I'm at a guata. I'm learning. Tonight, we're going to be going over the front bear hug over the arms to start off with because vegetables. Then we're going to go over how to control mount. Okay. So, not necessarily the fundamentals variation of mount, which is the, you know, get out of jail free, put the hooks in, the hope for the best because they're insane. What I want you to do is I want you to find the middle and we're going to use the middle against them. Okay. But before we do that, I'm going to readjust the camera and he's going to hug it. All right. So bear with me. <laughs> We're just going to talk for a couple minutes just to make sure that everybody's in. How's your week been? Good. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Killing time. Just going to watch that thing. I'll give it a couple minutes. I tell you what, let's do some forward roll break roll in the same place. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's try to stay on the camera. Let's see forward roll. Forward roll. That is the biggest fucking belt ever. I, it's a big belt. It's a big belt. Yeah. <laughs> it means it's just a part of the fucking blue. <laughs> forward roll. Perfect. Stay in base. Pause. What I want you to do is I want you to tuck your elbow to your side and roll over your eye. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's okay. So take your left elbow, tuck it in. Almost. <laughs> Pause and look at me. Okay. I've landed. Oh, I'm on my side. I'm going to tuck my elbow to me. Like, I don't want you to touch my face. Okay. I roll over my elbow, and that helps me start to come up and build that frame. Good. No disconnection from the ground. So then hop up on your button watch. Okay. okay, so I'm here. Did my great ball. The moment I get to here, tucking my elbow and reaching for my toes, just like a hip escape, is going to help me slide far. So I'm not going to end up doing anything like this, disconnected from the ground. I want to have a frame. I want to be a part of the ground. I want to use the ground to anchor myself in. Okay, let's that one more time. So turn. Now, pause where you are. It's kind of useless. Right? So, what I want you to do is I want you to cut that you just a little bit. I want this knee to see it. Now, hold that hand up. Now, I want you to shoot your butt up underneath just a couple inches. Good. Stay where you are. How's that feel? Pull off this hand. Okay? Push off this foot, push off this hand, pump it. Perfect. Big swing, stomp next to your hand. Perfect. Stand up. Let's try that again. Four roll, break ball, sit. Good. Tuck that elbow. Build that frame. Good. Don't reach out. Keep your hand in the middle. It's fine. Okay. Yes. So if you reach out, it's annoying. If this is the middle, I have to get to you to be able to do anything. You're going to get to me first. Okay. Let's actually let's talk about my kick. I'm gonna build them up. Okay. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Okay. Good. Perfect. Very good. Okay. So just a quick side note tonight. We're not gonna be teaching this you know, in depth. Sometimes, so uh my class in Melbourne, when I would teach something, we do the warm-up and then every once in a while I'd lose my shit because I'd watch them do the warm-up and they'd be awful. And then I'd spend the whole day teaching the warm-up. Okay, so I'm going to try not to ever do that here. I'm going to be normal. When you do a stand-in base, you know, a technical get-up, you're, you're building a frame, you're building a leg, right? So on the ground, I connect to the ground to come up. I don't necessarily want to do a shitty sit-up to do this, okay? What I want is safety and a frame that can bear weight and add weight. When I come up, I build a frame. Okay? If I'm sitting in a straight line right now, I'm easily tipped back. If I'm reaching out, you can get to me before I can get to you. If I'm too close in, you're going to have to ah, meet them in the middle every time. 
You might as well be in the middle, okay? So don't be too far out. Don't be too far in. Be in the middle, okay? Now, when you're here, don't be in a straight line. You're always on an angle. So shift your hip up underneath you so you can bear weight. When you do this, this little shift allows you to bear weight and stand, okay? But it's also allowing you to kick properly. When I say kick, I don't mean this. That's not a thing. Okay, so can I get you to stay in front of me? Just so you can stand in front of me. Struggling with bangs tonight. Perfect. If I'm here, I want you to bend that knee for me. Yes, stay with me. I'm still alone. Tap it from here. Just that little kick is my leg versus a body. Okay, what I want is my body versus that leg. So when I'm doing this, maybe you can hear it. Okay, usually it's a bit more dramatic. It depends on how solid these walls are. When I do the kick, it's not the leg. It's my whole body. See that hole right there? What is it? Bump, stump, stick. What is it? <laughs> an indention. Yeah. Okay? There's an indention in the wall where my whole body said, no. Not my foot. Say no. Okay? So when you lift yourself on this angle, never have your feet tucked underneath your feet. I'm going to step behind. Always have this rig. Now, if I'm here, kick my leg, uh, the, the hand leg, yeah. you know, from here it's annoying, you have to come close enough. Yeah. That's my whole body behind that, okay? Now, when we stand up, boom, I'm already ready to come back and create some space off of that, okay? So when you go forward, roll break ball. From here, roll over the elbow, build that frame, scoot yourself underneath yourself. Be ready to kick with your whole body, and hop back in line with your hand. Do try that? Sure. Okay. Go. 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 Okay. This yeah. <laughs> I should have described that a little bit better. Time. When I say touch the ass to the heel, what I mean is this. My butt is going to touch my heel. I'm not going to lift and kick with a leg. My butt travels to my heel. My whole body goes behind that. Okay? Boom. That's creating the distance. And it's using my whole body for the impact, not a limb. Very good. Very good. Okay, you can get your hand a little bit closer to your butt for this and your heel a little bit closer to you too. Pause, but that should be good. Boom. Good. Kick the ball. Get it out of your system. Get it out of your system. That's how it's done. Ooh, echo. Sorry, man. Okay, now, next time you do is watch me. When you do the kick, boom. Boom. Your front leg lines up with your hand. Oops. <laughs> okay, it takes practice. Right. Watch me handle. So you practice this at home. You don't need a wall for this. From here, when I lift myself, my whole body travels. And now from here, my whole body travels. I want my front leg to be in line with my hand when I step back. You got this. You got it. Think of it like a little hop. Okay, okay, so you do it. You can practice just from here a little push, a little hop. Push, and a little hop. Push, hop, hop your right leg in line with your hand. Get in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's still good. Yeah. It's still better than nothing. So, when you're teaching police, sometimes there's a whole bunch of weapons to deal with, and that little hop up doesn't really help. So, if you have a bit of trouble getting your legs out from underneath you, Two feet. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, like a gorilla. Put two fists in the ground, hop up, create some space. Okay? You don't have to do the technical stand up no matter what. You I know. Maybe I don't want to be there. Maybe I need to get away. Maybe I've got a whole bunch of weapons on me. Maybe you get away. Okay? Let me try that one. Sure, try the gorilla. <laughs> Good. Come up. Good. Put two fists behind you. 
Two fists. Now lift yourself up, throw your legs out. You did it. That's exactly what I want you to do on the other one. Okay. You can do it. Try again. <laughs> you can do that one. Do the other one. Okay. <laughs> a little hop. That's all I want. A little hop. Hop back. Oh, you did it. Ha! I tricked him into doing something. That's a good instruction. Ah. Try right, one more time just to make sure it sticks in the muscle memory. Good kick up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, so tonight we're going to go into the bear hug defense, two arms over the arms. So I'm going to this side, please. Why don't you give me a big hug right below me? Boom, perfect. Okay, so from here, what I want to do, I need to stop him from pulling my hips. So pull my hips in. Yeah, I'm going down, okay? Regardless of how he's holding me, even if it's the tailbone, the first thing I want to do is create a little bit of space and structure, okay? So my hands are coming in, and they're looking for the hips. When he starts to pull me in, I should have a little bit of give, okay? Now, when I need to move and get out of this, I need base. So slowly walk forward, my weight goes in my heels. Slowly walk back, my weight goes in my toes, okay? So we're not in a neutral base. I want you guys to always find your fighting base. You felt that already. Yeah. Okay? It's like I'm inflating. So Matt, this one just a little bit. Big hug. Yep. <laughs> my job is to inflate. Okay? Now, when I inflate, what's happening is my head's on one side. The opposite leg is going to step. <laughs> Time. We need to let go. When we do this, we're not pushing a car up a hill. We don't want to get pushed out of the side. Okay? So imagine it's always going to be <laughs> like that. Okay? Finding your fighting. So not neutral, not pushing a car, four-point base. Make sense? Okay. Now let's just do a dance move, okay? Then we're going to add on the blocks. So you hug one more time. Perfect. Okay? From here, my elbows are tucked in, my hands are coming in, and I'm going to find that four-point base. When I find that four-point base, I need to create an angle. Right now, everything is kind of in the way for me. So the secret thing for here to get an angle is to slip the shoulder. Okay, let's change the angles for that. Pause. I can't come around to the side of the head because there's an arm in the way. So what I want you guys to do when you find your four point base, the arm that's forward is the leg that's forward forever. When you start to reach, don't just reach straight. Same thing I was talking about today. Start to turn your hand. You feel that? All right. If I'm going to strike. I'm not going to do that, okay? When I strike, I don't want to just hit something. I want to go through it, okay? So what you're doing is rotating. When I reach in this space, it's not It's just a subtle little slip, okay? So imagine you're going to reach for something, and then you need a little bit more reach. That little twist is going to free up the shoulder from underneath the arm. One more time, please. Shit, shit. My job is to cut an angle over here, so I'm going to start to reach. Now that I reach, I can cut an angle around the side, and that's going to give me a whole bunch of options. Okay? Time to swap angles one more time. Pause here. From here, I'm going to find my four point base. On this one is the leg that's forward. My pinky's going to go to the ceiling and slip. Now, when I get here, I'm not just going to come around and do a cool hip throw, walk back towards me. Shit, come back. My hand stays on the hip bone, walk back towards me. I need to keep him at distance. I need to create an angle and make sure it's hard for him to walk towards me again. Okay, good. Now we're going to test base. If they continue to hold on, they're either going to push or they're going to pull. One equals something, okay? You don't just do a hip throw. Let's do it right here, please. I'll get you to turn just here. Hug, four point base, hand slips, hand to the hip, hand on the back is fine. Now, from here, if he continues to squeeze his arm, my ear and my shoulder can always slip. I can go slipping to the back. So if somebody's holding on to you, and they're holding, and they're holding, and they're holding, just go on the back. You have a shoe on right here. The hand on the hip, your ear just touches your shoulder. And you slip out the back. Imagine you're diving into something. Let's do that one one more time. Okay? Again, from here, I'll find my four point base. 
hand finds the hip, I'm slipping, all is here. Now, there's a couple of things that can happen. Right now, if he pulls away from me, so start to walk away, yes, come back. If he starts to push into me, yes, come back. I need to be in base for both of those things. When I'm here, if he pulls away from me, I should be solid and he should be the one pulling. When he's pushing into me, I should be the one solid, he's the one pushing. He's the one over committing to something, all right? Until then, if he's just squeezing, when I slip to here, squeeze my head off. Get into the habit of touching your ear to your shoulder a couple of times and let them slip. Sure. Right. Everything on one angle, though. Stay there. <laughs> what side are you doing? You got this. Okay, pause here. Hands come in. Don't let me pull you in. Good. Side of your head, take a step. Good. From here, I want this arm to start to slip. Yes, good. Now, find your base. Good. Don't let me walk towards you. So put your hand on my hip bone. Okay. So pause here. Make it a struggle for me to turn. Let's get that head a little bit higher. I'm going to hit the bone itself. Good. You feel that. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. I want you to have a strong. Yes. Good. Now, if I start to do this, yes. Good. All right. Let's do that one more time. I think on the camera, you're being wrong. <laughs> you're fine. Pause here. Take a step forward. Okay. That's fine. Good. Finding your base. Yes. Yes. Good. Slip the arm. Yep. Good. On your base, go any turn. Good. Yes. Good. Now, when someone's pulling your head down, a huge thing to remember is to always make sure you have your base. Your nose doesn't go before your toes. Okay? So uh, let's do one on this angle. Okay. Oh, from here and from there. And from here, my job, I need to make sure I'm finding my base. My hand is slipping. I want to come around here, turn back towards me. Can't see on the hip bone. Okay? Now let's start with the empties. Okay, pause here. I want you to put me in a headlock and pull my head to the ground. Pause. Okay. Just start to pull down. Pull my head. Yes, come back. Put your arms back around. Hug your hands. Good. Do that again. Okay. Yeah. If my nose is before my toes, I'm bearing weight. It's much easier for him to pull my head down. If I keep my nose behind my toes, when he does that, all I have to do is this, and it just slips off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's try that just quickly, and I want you to do it the wrong way first. So find your base, slip the hand, perfect. Put your hand on the hip bone, pause. Now really lean your nose forward and push your butt back. From here, it's easy for me to break your base down, okay? From here, just touch your ear and your shoulder. Good. That's the first one. Let's go up the second. Above me. Perfect. Now, from here, hands are in. I'm finding my base. When I slip the arm, that could happen. It might not. So I need to be aware of that, that this guy could still be pushing forward. When he pushes forward, that means he's not trying to turn. And that's going to give me the opportunity to do a dance move. My hand is going to find the tricep and my leg steps through. Hip throw. Okay? So when we do this one, it's because they're going to continue the momentum forward, not pull away. Okay? Let's do that one more time. I want you to get this to walk away. See the difference? One turn. Boom. I slip. Pause here. Yeah. So start to pull away. This is going to be very hard. For me to get in and do the hip throw. Very easy for me to do the leg throw. Every time someone pushes, they're giving you the hip throw. Every time they pull, they're giving you the leg throw. That thing. That's why I gotta watch this stuff. <laughs> Question? Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. The, the camera. Oh. I'll fix that. I thought you had a question. Have you got questions? Are you good? Okay, so the hip throw just is a dance move. One more time, get hug. Pause here. I find my base, my hand slips, and I find the hip bone, and my hand's just resting on the back. If he's pulling away, this hand can 
latch on and add weight. If he's pushing in, I'm pushing from my left foot into my right shoulder, okay? Turn for me to camera. Again, from here, I've created enough space. I'm gonna step into the hip throw. When I do that, I no longer need the hand on the hip because my hip's gonna come up, okay? From here, I'm holding on to the tricep and I'm gonna take a setup step and my hip comes across, boom. Now from here, turn with me please. The thing with the hip throw, a lot of people hold on to the hip, okay? You do not need to hold the hip. You should let go of the hip. It frees up your movement for the throw. So just on a side note, I'll scare you. If I'm coming in for a hip throw, I'm on an angle. If I'm holding onto his hip and I step, only so much of me gets to go through, right? You feel that. Yeah. You feel that. Mm -hmm. I don't need to hold on. Because I'm holding on to the hip throw and I hold his belt or I hold his hip. Well, when I step, I try to pull that across. That's a lot of sound. I'm going to let go. Everything can come across now. Okay? So you're not holding onto the hip for a hip throw. Let it go. And in fact, if you start to reach this ceiling, okay? So one more time. Um, base, slip, hip. Now from here, monkey grip on the tricep. I'm not changing any angles, changing any grips. I'm just holding here. This hand doesn't have to hold onto the hip. I'm going to step through and watch this hand. Free. The rotation. Okay? One try. I get you on this side. Nice side. Okay. All right. Hold on. Pause here. Okay. Find your base. Good. Oh, you're huge. <laughs> All right. Slip that arm. So reach. The shoulders there. Hand on the hip bone. Good. Okay. That's stopping me from turning back towards you. Let's turn towards the camera. Perfect. I'm not going to pull your head down. I'm staying with you and you feel this. Yes, my job is perfect. Okay. When you're ready, you're going to cut the tricep, let go of the hip. Now, pause here. You don't have to see clamp. Mm -hmm. Just a monkey grip is fine. So, yes, you feel like you can pull that in. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Now, I want you to let go with your right hand. Throw your hip all the way across. Step up, step. Perfect. Now, pause here. I want you to take your right hand and reach the ceiling. Shift. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. Pause. Go slower. Sorry. That's okay. Don't be sorry. I want you to feel the indicator. Okay. Instead of just doing the move, what I want you to worry about the most, do you feel that? Do you feel this? Okay, so much more important than the move itself. So let's go super slow. And until you feel this, oh shit. I just be solid with fuck you. Make me do it. Okay, come over here, please. Pause. Okay, I'm gonna try and hold. Oh shit. Got your feet. All right, pause here. Be aware of headbutts. Tuck your chin, keep your head tight to me. Headbutt means nothing now. Okay, can't pull his head down, he's got good base. I can't turn my hip in. I'm pulling away, different feeling, isn't it? Yeah. I'm pushing in, now's your time. So I want you to hold on to the tricep and you step in. So go ahead and step. Now, I'm gonna get that hip a, a lot more across. So pause. I'm a bit short. Bend your knees. Bend your knees and drop a level. Go ahead and bend. Pause, let's go back. Imagine you're a balloon. I want you to deflate, step in, inflate. So deflate. Yes, step in, inflate, holy shit. Now, yes, yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so here's a little tip for that one. If I was taller than him, my hip line is taller. Any point in time that we're coming in for a hip throw, holding onto the hip is not gonna help me, okay? Letting go of the hip, that's fine, okay? From here, if I can't get my hip across, I'm gonna deflate, okay? So my knees are bending, I'm not doing this. I deflate, set up step, inflate, okay? That's gonna help you get in, all right? Deflate, set the hip up, inflate, then rotate, okay? I think you're gonna fucking launch me now. <laughs> awesome. And when you do the throw itself, it's a steering wheel, okay? So you're not hand on the hip and then throwing. 
Get your hip all the way across as far as it can. Okay? This hand is going to be steering. This hand is going to be steering. And you're just going, oh. <laughs> Okay? So, good God, suddenly. Slow motion. Let's pretend I had a bear hug because he's huge. Yes. Go ahead and slip that arm. Good. Pause here. Hold on tight. Don't let me turn towards you. Pause. Don't let me pull you. Find your base. Yes. Don't let me push. Find your base. Yes. Okay. You got this. Take your time. Oh, crap. <laughs> Deflate. Inflate. Don't hold on to the hip. See how far across your hip bone came? Uh -huh. Let go with your right hand. Yeah. Let go with your right hand. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Now, deflate some more. Get that hip across more. Okay. Goodbye. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Best job. <laughs> okay, okay. So, tiny minor details with your hips up. Just a side note, because we're going to do the leg throw in just a second. It's just like, when you practice a hip throw with your partner, this is a variation on a knee. Okay? Let's turn this way. One arm under, one arm over. I'm going to go towards the underside and hold on to the arm. I end up here. Turn the camera, please. This is very familiar. C clamp, elbow, hand on the hip bone, and I find my base. Okay? Chin is tucked. We're in a side clinch. If he was to pull away from me, I should have some solid base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And from there, leg hook. We'll talk about that in a second. But right now, I don't have the correct angle to get the hip throw. I need this thing out of the way. Well, I'm just going to keep fucking hitting it until it moves. That's as hard as it needs to be. You can heel stop, just knee. Cool. The moment that leg steps back, you step in. Now, look who we are. Does this look familiar to what we were doing? Put this arm over the top. Hold your hands together. This is exactly what we were doing. Okay? He's created that angle for me. All right? Let's go back a step. I'm here. Okay? When I come in for the hip throw, I'm letting go. If the leg's out of the way, it's a setup step. And if I have no space because I'm taller than the person, I'm going to deflate, let go, step, let inflate. Okay? So from here, the most important part of that hip throw is his nose before his toes. Not really. There's your hip throw. Okay. So when you do this motion, this, you feel that. That's the most important part. You got a hip throw. Okay. So the pulling motion of the arm is what makes this happen. All right. So when you're doing this, when you're holding on, start to pull it to you. And you're going to feel me go, oh, shit. <laughs> That's where I'm going. Okay. And try one more time. Just so you know, because you can't see this on the camera, Jack. Every time I try and hug him, it's like hugging uh, the Michelin man. <laughs> it's like he moves it, it goes, fuck, just lats. Uh, so if I'm letting go, it's not because I'm lazy. I'm trying, dude. Yep, yeah, there we go. Pause here. Hands to the hip bone right away. I should be able to turn back into you. Good, your head's nice and stuck. I can't headbutt. Now there's a lot of space for you to fill. If you feel me pushing, push from your left foot into your right shoulder. Yes. Do the hip throw. Deflate, let go, inflate. Pull that arm. Zip. Good work. Okay. <laughs> Solid. All right. That's enough of that shit. Let's go over the leg hook takedown. Now, we've done that in the fundamentals class multiple times. I'm going to demonstrate that just quickly, and then we're going to show it in this context. So right now, if I cover, then I clinch, turn to the camera for me, I cut an angle off into the side. I'm holding to his arm, C-clamp, elbow, hand to the hip bone. If our legs look like a letter T, gently walk to the right. I'm gonna lose this, walk to the left. I'm gonna lose this, okay? Stay where you are. What I want is base. So right now, it looks like I'm doing tug of war. When he starts to pull away from me, yes, I can hang off of him. That's how far he's pulling. Continue to pull. Yes, that's what makes the leg hook take out a thing. Okay? So we're going to do that in the exact same context as a bear hug. My partner's going to hug me again. Perfect. I'm finding my base. The arm is slipping. I'm finding my safety here. Now, from here, turn to the camera for me, please. There's space. If he's pushing into me, I can make myself solid and use that for the hip throw. When he's pulling away, I'm still holding the hip. 
You feel that. Mm -hmm. It's a leg hook takedown all day. Okay? So it's the exact same thing. We're just going to do it from a bear. Cool? Yeah. You remember the leg hook? Have you ever taught you that? It's on YouTube. <laughs> See, I complain about YouTube all the time. Now all my shit's in there on YouTube. I can't feel that bad. Okay, let's do that one more time. And let's do it in side crunches here. Okay? And you're going to do this to me in a second. What I want is this. You're going to hold on to my hip bone. Okay? And I want you, the arm that's forward is the leg that's forward. Okay? okay. So now if you start to pull this way, yes, I should be able to take a setup set and hang off of you. Okay? That means all the weight is being pulled here. This is going to be light. My back leg is going to pick it. Okay? <laughs> We're going to do that yeah. Okay. All right? Okay. Slow motion. We're here. And now, yes, from here, keep your hand on my hip bone. So you can step around me. You don't need to be, yes. Pause here. Does it look like you're going down the floor? Turn your hips. Other way. So imagine you're holding a book. Mm -hmm. Let go of me. Right now, imagine you're holding a book. I want you. I'm I'm you ready. Okay. Okay. I have a feeling of this. Yes? I feel this. That's what I want. That motion. You feel this? Yeah. Okay. First you yeah. do that. Uh, <laughs> that's what I want. Yes, pause. Okay. Hold my hip. Do the same thing. Yes. Holy shit. Do the same thing. Yes. Good. Now, I'm going to pull. Hold my arm. Pause here. You feel that. Mm -hmm. Take a step with your left foot. Put it here. You can hang off of me, can't you? Yeah. Take your right leg. Take it out from underneath. You probably don't fall. See yeah. how it That's okay. You still did it. Let's try that one more time. Hold on to my hip bone. Good. Hold on to my wrist. It's still tug of war. Okay? Pause. Nice and relaxed. You feel this. Okay? When I start to pull, take a setup step. Pause. You feel that. Mm -hmm. Hook the leg and stay standing. That's it. You got it? All right. I'm going to start from a bear hug and put you in the exact same place. Right here, you're going to slip the arm, find your base. Keep your hand on my hip bone. Now pause here. You can step around. Yes, this is fine. This is where we are now. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you feel me start to pull, I want your hand on my hip bone. So take your right hand. Hold my hip, your other leg. Yes. Now, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna still try and turn into you. Okay. Yes. Don't let, yes. This is good. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can take that setup step. Okay. Yeah. Outside. Yes. And now take the leg up from underneath. Yes. Pause. Put your left knee here. Now. Perfect. Let's do it again. Okay. Camera. Nice and slow. I'm not going anywhere. Don't let me turn into you. Yes. Yes. Don't let me pull. Don't let me push. I'm pulling away. Take advantage. You don't need that. I still okay. Good. It's okay. The, uh, <laughs> every time he does it, he looks like a child. <laughs> it's all good, man. There's a whole bunch of dance moves to remember that. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, twelve, nineteen. <laughs> Fuck! Takes a little while. But the most important part is that I want you to understand that versus this. Also, this. Three best examples of how to deal with someone hugging you over the arms. Okay? <sighs> all right. One time without all the talking, I'm going to execute all three. Stand here, please. Hug me. Shit. Hip bone. Head top. From here, he starts to pull my head down to the ground. I slip to the back. Again. From here, he starts to turn back towards me. Ha! Not gonna happen. From here, he starts to push in a little bit. It's still not gonna happen. Take your time. Deflate, inflate. Hip throw. One more time. Shit, no base. Find your base. From here, he starts to pull away. Hold his hip. Hold his arm. Don't uh, turn, turn, turn towards me. Good. Pull away. Good. 
You can hold his arm for the hip drum, you can hold his arm for the leg drum, doesn't matter. The whole push is the most important part. Okay? Yeah, did you keep grabbing? I don't think he needs to do that. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to, but it's a habit. It's not going to kill you. Okay? How do you feel about that? You good? Good? Yeah. All right. I'm going to tilt that one down. And now, mount. Okay. Then this, I think you lay down on the back. It's close to we're good for both cameras, perfect. Okay, so in previous classes, we've talked about the mount and mount maintenance. Okay, tonight what we're going to talk about is finding the middle, so base. All right, in previous classes, we shoot the hooks in, the feet are together flat, the knees are off the ground, and my hands are my base. And if he was to start to push me from side to side, I should be able to hug and post. Other way, hug and post. If you was to wrap up an arm from here, elbow to the ceiling, go over the top of it, swim, okay? Basic maintenance from out. Now, move your hips around. Oh shit. I don't want to be a part of these hips, okay? So what we're gonna do is a bit of a base test. I want you to turn with these. Perfect. Right now, if my hip bone's going, these hip bones, gently lift your hips. The other gently, oh, sorry, more oh, <laughs> scary. Come back down, please. I don't want to be a part of this hips. Good God. I want to be up in the middle. So what I'm going to do, my knees find between the shoulders and the hips. So now when he lifts his hips, go for me, okay? What I want you is to find the middle, and I want you to find the middle, okay? So now every time he lifts his hips, I elbow him in the nose. So what I want is this. My knees are gently hinged. My feet are tucked in. They're not hooks anymore. They're just kind of connected to the butt. And I'm never sitting on him. And I'm never sitting up straight. I'm in the middle. Okay? So if my hips are down, I'm a part of him. If my hips are high, I've overcommitted my base. I want the middle. Now, just like neutral base, the time we can hang out for a bit, because I'm going to walk for about this. When we find our neutral base, it's not this. And it's not this. It's here, okay? Your nose is not before your toes. Your forearms don't hang past your knees and they don't touch your thighs. Now, if I was to drop down to my knees, I need to find the same thing, okay? Remember, if my back is straight, I'm rigid and I'm easy to move. But if I let my back relax and I let my knees sink and my hands stay in the middle, this is where I want to be for the mount, okay? Everything he does from here, I'm in the middle. It's like a flinch drill, right? So in uh, fundamentals classes, we talk about flinch drills. If I'm like this, a haymaker, it's gonna be a whole lot harder to stop. If I'm like this, the straight jab is gonna be really hard to parry, okay? So if I'm in the middle, I can meet both fairly easy. So if I'm shocking the hooks in, right now, I'm not in the middle. There's a whole lot of things I need to do and his hands are busy. I need to get up into the middle. If I'm sitting up straight, I'm overdoing it. I'm hunched down, I'm underdoing it. What I want is here, okay? And the best way to test this, my nose should line up with my partner's nose. And from here, my weight should be in my knees. If I had big creepy toes on the end of my knees, these are my feet and my weights and my toes. From here, if my weight's too far back, when I tap my feet, it's a thump. If I'm too far forward, when I tap my feet, I fall. So I need to find the middle where I should be able to tiptoe and tap and dance. Okay? Try that real quick. So you're not on two knees. Good. Let your back completely arch like you're doing the worst set with of your life. I want you to hold your knuckles in your eye line. Good. Nice and creepy. Lift your ass up just a little bit. Put your weight into your knees and see if you can tap your feet. That's pretty good to me. Okay. So now that's your base in the mount. Your base isn't here. You've overcommitted to something, okay? That better be a good fucking premise if you're overcommitted to. I want here, not here, and not sitting on them, okay? You wanna try that real quick? Try it on me. Sure. We'll do it on an angle. So hop into the mouth. Perfect. Stay exactly where you are. If I move my hips, he moves, okay? So I want you to come up a little bit higher. I want you to gently pinch your knees. And bring your feet in. Good. Lift your butt up a little bit. 
If I move my hips, it's not really affecting you, is it? Good. I want your back to arch. I want you to lean forward a little bit. Good. Nose should be in line with nose. Come down a bit lower. Good. Don't let your hips touch mine. Keep your butt up. Keep your back arch. It's a finicky little spot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, hands in the middle. This is good. Okay? This is what I want from you. Okay? Okay. Now, from here, everything I do can be met equally. Push it across. Mm -hmm. Good. We'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll talk. Okay. How about me? Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right. We're going to be a little bit more gentle about this. What I want is a flinch drill. So, can we stop Let me readjust the camera and turn this thing. Right. Now, when we talk about flinch drills, what we're doing is we're, we're deflecting energy. Punches, right, please. And if you make a fist, yes, if you touch my chin with that, continue to walk forward. Okay. Okay, come back. Same thing. Touch my chin with that. Continue to walk forward. Okay. I'm not stopping the energy. I'm not doing anything cool with it. I'm just making it go another way. Not here-ish. Okay? So if you were to make a palm, and I want you to reach for my chest. Continue to walk forward. Good. Come back. If you were to do the same thing, I'm just going to let it keep going. Keep going. Yes. I'm just changing the direction of the energy. Okay? It sounds very like hippie, but that's the best way to put it. Okay? It's not going to be. Stop it! <laughs> Again, I can just do it with my body. Continue to push. I just turn my body. Okay? I'm getting what he's pushing out of the way. I'm just letting that energy continue in the direction it was going. I'm not stopping the energy, I'm letting it flow. Okay? God, that's heavy. <laughs> All right, so I want you to lay down your back. Let's just a little bit. So when we find the middle, the first drill for this from here, if he was to lift his hips, my hands touch the ground, and I add weight. Okay, now when he comes back down, I come back. Okay, I don't ever keep my hands in. I want to have my hands in the middle. So the first drill you do with your partner, they have to travel to lift you with their hips. So they're gonna give you a good bridge, and I want you to go back to neutral. So bridge, boom, my hands touch, I add weight, I come back to neutral. Bridge, hands touch, add weight, neutral. Let's turn this. And I'm here in the middle, my butt is not connected to his hip. I am not sitting on him, he is not a catch. And here when he bridges again, my hands are gonna touch regardless. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer all that energy from the ground to his hips. When he goes back to neutral, I don't want to stay here. I'll come back to neutral. My hips, I'm sorry, my butt, they're not connected to his hips. Okay? One more time. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Now, eventually, I'm tired of dealing with that. So when he bridges, elbow in the bridge of the nose. Okay? Time is turned this way. Pause here. Now, what we were doing before, talking about somebody reaching for the face, it's still your flinch stroke. Remember, if my hands are here and he puts a hand on my chest and starts to push, ah, I'm late. Okay. So now he touches the chest and starts to push, that's fine. I'm just going to take the energy and let it go across. Okay. One more time, partner starts to push. You're going to use your forearm, just like the punch drill. Okay. And now your whole body can come behind that. It doesn't have to be your limbs over committing to anything because your limbs are here in case he starts to push and bridges. Oh, oh, oh. Come back. I need to be in the middle. He starts to push. And bridges. Ah, that ended well for me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you want to be in the middle for these things. Okay. So here's a couple of things. I want you to make a fist, touch my fist. No. I want you to make a palm, touch my chest. No. I want you to make a fist, touch my belly button. No. Okay. So three ways of saying no. One is just your hand saying no. Two is your forearm saying no. Three is your elbow saying no. At no point did I do this. Uh, make a fist touch my belly button. No. Okay. Make a fist touch my belly button. I use my elbow. Touch my chest. I use my forearm. Touch my face. I use my hand. Okay. So I'm always in the middle for this. Come on the outside, smack me in the ear. I'm still in the middle. Okay. It's just your flinch drill and you're in neutral base. Remember that. Okay, so the first way to test this, your partner bridges, you touch the ground, add the weight, go back to neutral. Okay, then your partner is going to push, 
خوش 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 کردن مستون کم یپ کول اوکی سو هیر پرفکت نا دتس ان اکشن گو داون ا ستپ سیت اون مای هیپ بونز اوکی سی اٹس ان دی وے رایٹ ها واتس دی ایزیست وے تو گیت دیز آرمز اپ اند اوت وے smack my face oh yeah shit <laughs> now crawl up <laughs> okay so don't get too technical with that one okay now the gentleman's punch is a choke so let's say if my elbows were in i'll say no he can start to threaten my neck and he threatens my neck my arms come up now come up so come up with your knees yes good that's perfect okay now find the middle i want your butt off of me good weights in the knees your feet are acting like little stirrups on the butt cheeks perfect now Hanging here, nice and loose, and let your back relax. Perfect. When I bridge, your hands touch the ground. Don't touch too high. Don't touch too wide. Touch in the middle, like you got your loose boards. Okay. When you touch, push your butt back and come back to neutral. Boom. Yes, back to neutral. That's it. That's the drill. Okay. So this is. It's fairly boring, but I need you to know that. Good. And never overcommit to anything. Yes. Good. Find the middle. And never miss a chance to add weight. So when I do this, push my hips down, me. Yes. Now come back to neutral. Ah, oh, I don't want to do that again. That kind of suck. I want you to lower your shoulders. Yes. The closer you are to me, the more annoying the creepy is. <laughs> this is what I want. I want creepy. If your partner's not looking at you, it's, it's not weird enough. Make it weirder. Okay. Now from here, if I was to start to reach for your face, pause here. I reach for your face. Just guide it. Yes, it means nothing to you. If I reach to the chest, guide it. Yes, elbow. Good. Yes, that's a hundred percent correct. Yes, 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 yes. This is really fucking annoying. Back to neutral. Yes, good. Okay, <laughs> time. Let's add a little bit onto that. So you are basically a neutral base with a flinch drill. That's it. Okay. Now everything this person does to try and get out gives you a submission. That's what I want you to start to focus in on. Your control should be annoying, and sooner or later it should be so painfully annoying that no one wants to roll with you. Okay. So from here, touching the chest is just a deflection, and you can use your arms, but don't just use your arms. Use your whole body. Okay. So my limb is great. But my lid is nothing unless it's connected to my torso, and my torso can do all the hard work. So I'm doing the same thing, but now I'm adding weight to it. Okay. So every time I start to push, you just oh, no, no, no. Okay. You're taking that energy and you're just adding weight to it, making my life miserable. Okay. I want you to lay down head towards the camera one more time. Let me talk about oh, good one. Thanks. You ever get time? Cool. Okay. So if his elbows are on the ground again. Yes, I can't get back to the middle. I'm connected to his hip bones. Fine, just keep touching <laughs> his face and get weird. All right, you don't have to knock someone out. This inappropriate face touch it works a lot. And I'm talking about getting weird, like shit. <laughs> Play with his mustache. See what happens. Get to the middle. Find the middle. Hunger down. Okay. Now from here, remember, push, push, push. That shit happens a lot. Now some people will push at the knees and try and push it down. So put a hand on my kneecap. Push. That's pain in my ass. Come back. Anytime somebody touches your knee, it's a monkey grip. So go ahead and touch the knee. My monkey grip says no. And I come back to neutral. Okay. Push the chest. No. Touch the knee. No. Just come back to neutral and relax. If you can hold this position, they'll give you a submission of actual trust. Okay. So we have all the push. We've got all the knees. All right. We've got the bridge. What happens when they try and sit up? Because this motherfucker. The other day I was wrong with him. He's like, "I'm going over there now." I guess you are. <laughs> okay. I did not expect him to do a Turkish get up during a roll. <laughs> he does. So let's say the arm crosses the center line, but he's not rolling over. He sits up. So go ahead and say, and we'll do it with the arm on the other side too as well. So you're going to sit up and say, "Fuck you." Yep. Shit. All right. That's a real thing. <laughs> you need to know that. Not everyone's going to try and do a cool escape. They're going to go, "Fuck you." And get away. Okay. So now let's deal with that just quickly. 
slow motion, the arm starts to come across, but he's not rolling over. His head's coming off of the ground. He's doing almost like a Turkish dip. You see how it becomes a part of his hip line by default, okay? Where his head goes, his spine follows, all right? So my job is just to pat him on the back and see he did a really good job. Continue doing that. That's all it took, okay? Let's do that a little bit more dramatically. Start to come over this way. Start to step, pause. Continue doing that. Okay, <laughs> where he looks, everything else follows. So a good reaction for you is that when someone starts to sit up, pat him on the back and straighten your arm, okay? Come back, do the other side. Yeah, that's as hard as it needs to be, okay? And you can be a real dick about that. Let's scoot back a little bit, please, just in case. Oh, scoot. Good, okay. So you don't have to be nice about this, but I don't want you over committing anything. So when he starts to get up, I can always just say, nope, you're not going that way. When he goes the other way, I say, no, you're not going that way. Use your forearms, not your hands. <laughs> That's just, no, no. I always use my forearms. And people walk away like a little bit of a rash on their cheek. But I'll do it technically. <laughs> they just try and get out technically. So this is good control. The polite way of doing it, step on your back, is to hold on to the shoulder and straighten the arm. Continue going up. It's hard to do, okay? My weight continues in that direction. Other side, no, good. Now, the mean way of doing it, go ahead and go again. No, by the way, no. All right, I love doing that one, and I'm sorry, whatever. Shoot your forearms, okay? <laughs> Setting a great precedent for this club. Zero point, all right. So, that's gonna guide the skull. The skull's connected to the spine. The spine is part of the hips. If his hips move, I move. Okay? So my job is to say, no, no. Now, this fucking guy, put your arm around my back. Turkish get up. Fuck! <laughs> he did that the other night, and I ended up on the bottom, I was like, son of a bitch! <laughs> Should have been ready for that. So this is how we're ready for that, okay? So at any point in time, let's do that one more time, guys. Perfect. At any point in time, then someone has an arm wrapped around your back, pause here. Now, once you start to do a Turkish get up in slow motion, now from here, he's got a little bit extra. Continue. God, it's too much. He's too strong. He's reaching. And I've got that shoulder connected to my chest, pushing me across the center line. Okay? So remember this. This shoulder is what you need. So continue that motion. Continue that motion. Everything goes into that shoulder. Okay? So over dramatic, go that way. Everything should be ready for that. My bad, I was not ready the other night. <laughs> Fine, go back to the mountain. <laughs> when you're here, anytime that the arm crosses the center line, it's only so strong, and you can manipulate your things. If they're wrapping your body at their strong spot, you need to add weight to the right place at the right time. Okay. So what's happening when he does this motion? Do a turkey spin. Watch it. He's literally doing a turkey spin. Okay. I'm stuck here getting pushed. So now do a Turkish get up. Okay, that's a lot of weights. Okay, so yeah, he's got like an 80 kilo kettlebell here instead of a 20. Okay, that's a 20. That's a 16. Ah, she said, I'm assuming like 90. I don't know. <laughs> Regardless, Unlola, again, we're here, we're in the middle, we're in our base. If he starts to push the chest, we're taking the energy off. He's pushing the chest, we're taking the energy off. If he starts to sit up regular, I'm just going to say eh, no, okay? He starts to sit up and he really means it. I say no. There's a submission off the end of every single one of those things, okay? So, aha, we've got time. Let's go over one quick submission. So those are your basic controls, and we're going to be adding on to those controls. What happens if in the next fundamentals, uh, advanced fundamentals class, okay? So I've had to break this class into two separate classes. You can't just teach mount maintenance for advanced fundamentals in half an hour. That needs like a good hour's worth of detail. For now, let's talk about the idea of someone bridging and then holding you in place, okay? So let's turn this way, please. Pause here. If he was to bridge his hips, they're gonna connect with me eventually. And my hands feel like the ground, so I can bridge. My hands come up. I want you to take your arms, put them in my armpits and push me away. Yes! Okay, notice how I can't come back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now from here, this is what we're dealing with. I'm going to go back. Okay. Yes, I'm connecting from the floor. So I'm pushing into his hands. Now, 
From here, this is when we swim. We can swim our arms in and come back to neutral, okay? We can, but we're not going to. We're gonna break the arm instead, okay? So remember, if I was in the middle and you push my chest up like a, um, like a bench press, from here, it's just a shift in the energy and to come back down. If the hooks are in, it's different. He starts to push, ah, and he'd be able to swim, okay? So now if I'm here, if he bridges, and my hands end up here and he holds me in place, Ah, now from here, I can swim, but I can also collect his arm, okay? Yeah, so we're gonna do a really easy arm lock off of this. So turn for the camera phone, please. Pause here. So for safety for your partner, what I want them to do, instead of putting two fists to their palms, put your thumbs in the armpits like you're holding them up. So put your thumbs in my armpits. Yes, there you go, like, like you, uh, dirty dancing. You're doing dirty dancing. That way, it actually doesn't hurt quite as much. I've had people kind of put a fist in and it, come. Put your hands here and it's gonna straighten out and you can tap very fast, okay? So uh, this is a variation on multiple arm locks that we'll be doing in the future. But for now, the setup is, I'm off of the hip line, but he bridges, my hands touch, and he says no, okay? Now they said no, I can swim, but what I wanna do is this. Like, you feel like you're in charge, right? Yeah, <laughs> in charge. What about that? No. Nope. Yeah, you're the one that's holding me up, right? Yeah. Let's go back. Please. Okay, so what I'm doing, just like I was doing before, remember when you raise my hands, touch my hand, push into my hips and come back to neutral? What I want you to do is I want you to push off the ground and make them hold you up, okay? So that person holding you, they have to actually hold you. So again, hold me. Right now, does it feel like you have to hold me? No. Man, does it? Yeah. Yeah, if he lets go, I'm back to neutral right away, okay? So when he's holding me, pause here. From here, what I'm doing, I'm making a connection, I'm making him push. The harder he pushes, the straighter his arms are, the easier to lock. What I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing is this. You feel that already? Yeah. Okay, my thigh slides up. There's the lock, okay? I'm just sliding my thigh up. I want my adductor touching the elbow itself. Okay, so I'm gonna do it a little bit long this time. So bridge, please. Hold, pause. From here, if I just get here, it feels different, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, imagine I want my knee at the top of his head. You feel that now. Yeah. Now from here, my knees pinch and they come forward. Okay, so one more time. Your partner's gonna bridge, post, and they hold you in place during the dancing style. Add weight to the hands. The harder your partner pushes straight, that's the time that you slide your thigh up, pinch your knees, two hands to the wrist, and hips forward to finish. Okay? Nice. You want to do it to me? Very great. Okay. So, just as a dance move for now, go ahead and go up, on here, don't worry about any weight. I want you to slide your left knee to the top of my head. And hold my <laughs> now, two hands hold onto my wrist, so pause. Yes, pinch your knees together. Tap. Okay. Good, pinch your knees together more. You're a yes. You see how I tap? Okay. See how my arm is like this? That's what I want to see. Okay, let's go back and step. Okay. Bridge. Fine, pause here. I want you to swim. So go ahead and take one arm. I want you to reach for your right arm. Turn your body, yes. Now reach for your left palm, turn your body. The other way, on the outside, yes, good. Okay, as you fuck that man, I'm gonna hold you in place. Good, now slide on up. Tap, good, go. You win. Oh, Jesus, I'm weak. I don't want any trouble. Oh, okay, if you have any questions about tonight's class, no, that was great. That was, that was awesome. Cool, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Appreciate you coming down. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so tonight's class, we started off uh, with a little bit of a warm up and we talked about standing in base and kicking from standing in base and completing distance for standing in base. After that, we did the front bear hug, arms over the top. Okay, everything is different when the arms underneath. Arms over the top, front bear hug. We're looking to slip, create an angle. We're either going to push, we're going to pull, or squeeze our head off. We got three easy options because of that. Never just do a hip throw, okay? That's a dance move that you're gonna get graded for. 
I'm not worried about getting raided. Get good, fight it. Don't hug you. Find your base, inflate, slip, create an angle, and use them against them. All right? Now, after that, we went over the advanced hold for mount, middle mount. So, not hooks in, not fundamentals. Holy crap, I'm in mount. Oh, I hope I can stay here. I want you guys to be so good at that one that you can go in the middle and go, no, 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 this is where I live now. You're going to regret this. And there's a lot of submissions I can show you for the mount. It's a dying art. It's like a closed guard. Mount and closed guard. Bring that back like disco and shit. All right, you good? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I do have one question. Back. Yes, sir. You want me to film it or you want me to put it up? Oh, I'll do it. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>